The role of Brad Snyder is now being played by John Leprino. Well, Carla, you said you wanted to make a statement. Well, this dress certainly does that. <laughs> it's excitement, drama, the yeah. whole thing. Well, it sure does show off my figure. And it's not too sappy. Oh, oh he won't be able to take his eyes off you. You really think Jack will like it? Jack? Oh, uh, Carla, give me strength. Did, did, I, did I say Jack? Did I say Jack? Don't you pull that no, stuff No, it was just a me. slip of the tongue, Lisa, so just stop it with the lecture before you start, okay? Brad. Brad will be thrilled. He... He won't be the only one there. Yes, I know that. Now, Carly, I want you to listen to me. You are going to be Mrs. Bradley Snyder very soon, so don't even bother to go down that road. That one. Oh, Jack would love this. Well, Jack already does love that. More important, he loves the woman who's going to wear it. Julia Lindsay, they bought it last week. Jack saw her in it. Oh, bad luck. Ah, well, you see, Carly, true love makes its own luck, which has me very concerned for you and Brad. How very sweet of you to be concerned, Camille. But Brad and I are going to be just fine, because I'm not going to break his heart. Andy Dixon is your baby's father? Are you sure? I was there, Ben. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. It's just... I mean, I, I saw the two of you there together, but... It, I never thought that. Look, we, we didn't have nothing in common, okay? Except loneliness. He was real sweet, and... We just both needed to be held, and that's about all I remember, okay? When that was all it was, Ben. Does he know that you had his baby? No. When are you going to tell him? Sometime around never. He was here, Jack, just a few weeks ago. David was here. You saw the body. Yeah, enough to be sure. This is bad, Jack. This is real bad. I don't get it. Half the year, the guy's dead and buried. All of a sudden, he decides he's going to get up and take a stroll. So much for any connection with Hope. Nothing here, not a damn thing. Wait a minute. Hold on, let me have your handkerchief. What do you got? Our answer, maybe. Cufflink. It's monogrammed. JS. Only I don't wear cufflinks. James Stenbeck. Andy, 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 you love Andy, Molly. Reed is toxic. You're just gonna toss him. Oh, Reed! Damn it! What are you doing? My car has been stolen! Are, are you sure? No, it drove off by itself, Molly. Yes, I have to find it. There's something important. Dr. Hamilton, long time no see. What does it take to get a live policeman on the phone? Yes, finally. I would like to report a stolen co hey, No cops. This is great, Chris. This is really great. Georgia, chill. It's a flat, not the end of the world as we know it. We are in the middle of nowhere with a flat tire and a stolen car. Dr. Reed Hamilton's car. What is wrong with you? Are you crazy? Probably, but I'm fun. This is not fun, Chris. And you said that it was a friend's car. Yeah, so I embellished a little bit. We'll be out of here in no time. Yeah, out of here and into jail. Hey, you're being paranoid, okay? We're gonna be fine. We fixed the flat, we returned the car. Nobody's gonna know the wise. <sighs> Let's just hope that there's a spare in the trunk. And I bet you five bucks everything we need is back there. Salvation is at hand. As the world turns. 
Hey, I'm really freaked out. What is it now? I just keep thinking about Aunt Lou, breathing down my neck and Lily and Holden. What, you think they never walked a little on the wild side? They never stole a car. Don't count on it. There's a million buried secrets in this town, Oakdale. What is it? Is it stuck? I don't know. Someone's jamming it from the inside. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Hey, what happened to your adventuresome spirit? The girl who made that wild debut at Oasis. Oh, great. A night that will forever be an infamy. Oh, I wish I was there. I had big plans for that day. Yeah? Maybe sometime you can give me a private performance. Hey, yeah, the only time you're gonna see me perform is in the prison talent show, Chris. Get busy. Okay, Fix okay, this. okay. I'll make you a deal. I'll make it through tonight without getting slammed. You owe me. I owe you what? I'll decide when I win. Yeah, well, I wish I had as much confidence as you do. Actually, this is my favorite moment. What? You know, the dark before the dawn. When things get so bad, they can't get any worse. Saved! I'm Roger Sawyer from Post Cereals. I grew up on cereal. Followed the funnies, except for that sheriff's badge. It was the way to start the day. Now that I've grown up, my cereal is post shredded wheat. Simple, honest, pure, and so wholesome, the feeling you're off on the right foot stays with you all day long. Post shredded wheat. It's starting the day with cereal and doing it right. Wherever introduces non-stick cookware that's safe for use with metal utensils. Thanks to our tough new scratch-resistant non-stick surface. Wherever. Where something new is always cooking. Glade Plugins Extra Outlet has the extra outlet built right in. So you can make any room in your home Glade fresh without blocking your outlets. Plugins Extra Outlet. Fresh from Glade. Plug it in. Plug it in. Overactive bladder. Those strong, sudden urges. Going to the bathroom so often. Wedding accidents. Discover prescription Detrol. Detrol is proven effective to treat overactive bladder. Detrol reduced bathroom visits by 2.2 times in 24 hours versus 1.1 times with a sugar pill. Stay a little longer? Love to. 1.2 fewer wedding accidents occurred with Detrol versus 0.8 fewer with a sugar pill. Similar decreases over 24 hours. Do not take Detrol if you have certain types of stomach, urinary, or glaucoma problems. The most common side effect is dry mouth at 39.5% for Detrol versus 15.9% for sugar pill. Common but less frequent ones may include dry eyes, headache, constipation, and indigestion. Head back? Not right now. For more product information, call us or ask your doctor about prescription Detrol. Proven effective to treat overactive bladder. Glad I asked my doctor about Detrol. Lisa, mm -hmm. do you have something exactly like that, only better? Carly, I, I hate to tell you this, but this dress is just far too, uh, well, too sweet for you. The customer is always right, right? Could you possibly see what you could find? <laughs> so, you're really gonna marry Brad just to get a rise out of Jack, right? You had your chance with Brad, Camille, and you passed on it, as I recall. Now Brad is otherwise engaged, literally. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes, but he's still my friend. Don't have to be concerned. Brad is getting exactly what he wants out of this deal. See, that's the problem, Carly. This shouldn't be a deal because that man actually cares about you. Oh, he cared about you too, didn't he? Very much. And we all know why that didn't work out. So this, this worry of yours, it seems like much too little, much too late. James is back. It looks that way. He wanted to give David a proper burial. He was getting ready to move the body, but then the police were on his case, so he ran. Now, why would we risk going back here? I don't know. He wasn't timid about getting what he wanted, though, Jack. He was very passionate about David. If it was James, why would he go through the trouble of sweeping away his footsteps and taking his tools with him just to leave a cufflink behind? He was digging. Maybe it fell off. Eh, maybe. Listen, Jack, there are only four people who knew that David was buried here. 
Me, Lily, Julia, and James. Actually, maybe there was a fifth. I didn't ask you to call the police, did I? I was just trying to be neighborly. Yeah, well, when I need your help, I'll ask for it. So why are you so freaked out? What's in your car, drugs or something? I'm having some problems with a few people on the force. The less I have to deal a with them, the better. You or just Jack Snyder? I'm helping Julia. He doesn't like it. Forget all about this, what okay? What about your car? I'll find it. You know, Jack wanted to get in your trunk, and you refused. Why? You wanted me to back off, and now I'm telling you to do the same. Ooh, I smell a story. Get out of my face, Molly, or you will regret it. I promise you that. Hey, 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 you better back off, pal. What are you doing? You're going nowhere until you apologize to the lady. What is that, a huge bag? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's jammed into the latch thing. Yeah, you got small hands. See if you can reach in and get it to release. Okay. Uh. Oh, see, I don't think that there's a spare. Well, there's got to be a mini tire or something. Let's um, let's get the bag out of here. Come oh, on. what is this mud and it stinks? Come what on is now. this? Come on now, don't go curly on me. Let's pull it out. Ready? Excuse me. We have to do it. Let's do it. On three. One, two, three. Oh, the cops! The cops! Hey, how you doing? Your kids got a problem? This time of year, I need more than an ordinary eye drop. I need Ocuhist. Ocuhist Eye Allergy Relief from Visine. It's anti-itching. It's anti-redness. It's antihistamine relief for your eyes. Ocuhist's special antihistamine formula stops the itching and relieves eye allergies fast. My eyes feel great. Get Ocuhist Eye Allergy Relief from Visine. It gets the itch out. I could hardly wait to spend my summer vacation with Aunt Laura. She knew just everything. What you need to build a playhouse, how to make things grow, and that nature always makes a fresh new start. And she always stuck some milkfuls in my pockets. How I enjoyed that wonderful flavor. And nowadays, when I send my little Anna to be with her, I know she will also have a wonderful time there. Because it's the simple things that make life so rich. Milkfuls. Simply enjoy. You want incredible color, but you also want incredible hair. Color that lasts, and color that's gentle. It's not impossible. It's Hydrian's. Incredible color that's incredibly gentle. Its unique water-based color cream hydrates your hair with luxurious, moisture-rich color that lasts and lasts. But hydrians won't shock your hair. It's a gentle, permanent way to color. So you're a beautiful blonde, brunette, redhead, and your hair is silky and shiny. Introduce your hair to Clairol Hydrians. Incredible color that's incredibly gentle. No two women are shaped alike. That's why the OB tampon is designed differently, with individually wound layers that expand to fit your individual shape. Created by a woman gynecologist, OB. Also with applicator. Protection fit for you. It's time to experience a sensuous bath spa right at home. The most powerful compact ever. The easy to store Conair Water Jet Spa that transforms your tub into an invigorating experience. The Conair Water Jet Spa. Last night, Jesse Jackson was late to the late show. He successfully negotiated the release of three interns from the Oval Office. <laughs> and tonight, he's coming back. Plus, Brendan Brazier and Bonnie Raitt. Car Carter, please. Stay still. I'm going to stick you otherwise. I hate to say this, Lisa. I really do, but I hate it. I hate it. You just bought it. You didn't show me that one. I've told you that that one is not for you. This one is definitely you. If it were Scarlet. What is this, Carly? Your third wedding of the year? Do you feel a draft, Lisa? Well, I'll bet it's all hot air. Uh, Barbara, I'm... Uh, your, your things, your, your uh, beautiful originals just came back from the factory. I can't wait to see which one you're going to choose oh, to Oh, don't worry about it, Lisa. I can see that you've got your hands full. <sighs> Besides, I could be marrying Hal in my blue jeans, and it would still be the most perfect day. Did I tell you that we're writing our own vows? Oh, I think that's wonderful. Spare me. <laughs> oh, you'll be spared. You're not on the invitation list. Thank God. So, Carly. Where are you and Brad honeymooning? Are you going to some exotic locale that offers quickie divorces? That's it. I have tried to take the high road here, but you want to wrestle in the mud? Oh, I'll be glad to wrestle in the mud. <laughs> Girls, stop it now. I want you to go to 
your own dressing room separate. Now, go! Can I ask you something that's probably none of my business? Yeah. Nothing ever stopped you before. Why aren't you gonna tell Andy about his daughter? What for? Like he needs to brood about this for the rest of his days? I don't think so. It'd be different if I, I knew where she was. I mean, I don't know. All this is so much like sci-fi, you know. First I walk smite right smack into Andy at the hospital after all this time. I can tell. And then Holden Snyder, he starts asking questions about David Stenbeck and babies. I don't know. It's like this weird force is working and it just just don't want me to forget my baby, that's all. Denise. What are you did, doing? Did you drink? What are you talking about? When you were pregnant, did you drink? You know, you got a lot of nerve asking about it. Come on, just answer me. This is important, very important. More, more than you could possibly know. If James moved that body, why did he do it weeks ago? Why now? Who knows, Jack? Sudden inspiration, maybe? Here's a guy on the run, wanted for attempted murder. He digs up a grave, carefully covers his tracks, and leave a, leaves a monogrammed cufflink behind in plain sight? Why not leave a, a freaking calling card? James doesn't make mistakes, Jack. Yeah, exactly. Well, if he was wearing this, his print should be all over it. Anything? None. His wife's clean. I don't know about you, Jack, but I have trouble getting my cufflinks in with gloves on. Exactly. It makes no sense. Unless James didn't drop this. Well, then who? Someone who wanted us to think James dug up that grave. You're just like your brother, aren't you? Either one of you know when to mind your own business. The lady's still waiting. Well, my car's been stolen. I have to deal with it. Excuse me. Okay. You. You are blackmailing my cousin, hero boy. So don't even think that you can take off your cape and throw it on a puddle and expect my undying devotion. Women, tell you what, next time you scream, I won't come. Good. Men, you know, the only true Sir Galahad left is Andy. All the rest of you aren't worth a damn. She's wrong. Well, about you anyway. Uh, Chris Hughes? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that was you. What's the trouble? Oh, we got a flat. Can you believe my luck? I finally get a date with this gorgeous woman. Bam! Uh, oh, do you know Georgia? Hi. Hi. This is one hell of a nice car. Very expensive. Is it, uh, yours? Yeah. No. No, not exactly. Well, <laughs> what she means is it's, I don't own it. Uh, I'm running some errands for Dr. Reed Hamilton tonight. Do you know him? He's a therapist. We work together at the hospital. We've met. Well, I guess first thing I do is to get you kids out of here. Why don't we get the spare? No spare. We checked. Oh. Well. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've got some... Uh, Emergency foam in my car can inflate that tire. It'll at least get you to the next gas station. That's great. Thank you, Detective. Oh, Lieutenant Munson. <laughs> Thank I'll God you came. Give you a minute. Yeah. We are in so deep. Relax. Just smile and act gracious. Everything's gonna be fine. How can you be so calm? Because I want to collect on my bet. Look, what if he calls Dr. Hamilton, Chris? Shh. You're a lifesaver. But I'm stuck out here forever. Okay, this stuff works pretty well. Get out of here in a minute. Well, Chris, I gotta tell you, I think a flat tire's the least of your problems. I mean, a flat tire I can fix pretty quick. But a stolen car, that takes a lot longer to set right. I'm very excited right now. Very nervous. My, my heart's like pounding right now to find out. I'm real excited, but very nervous because just don't know what's going to happen. I want it to be accurate and I really want to know what it says. Positive. 
love you too. We're very lucky. Very, very lucky. It's clear. I got two lines. Two lines. We, we see it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. And now you do. One minute Maalox or Mylanta Supreme? Before you choose, you should know that Maalox Maximum Strength neutralizes over twice as much acid. When you get heartburn, make it one minute Maalox. The number one choice of hospitals. Designed with floss in mind, the Colgate Total Professional Toothbrush has bristles that cling down and around teeth and along the gum line. Colgate Total. I have an announcement to make. I don't just color my hair. I revitalize it with Excellence Cream from L'Oreal, the non-drip color cream. Of course, it protects, always has. But now Excellence is even better with a Ceramide and Protein Formula to revitalize your hair for rich color, incredible body, more oomph. And does it ever cover grays? Not that I ever had any. Excellence Cream from L'Oreal. Because I'm worth it. I want to shout it from the rooftops. This is the thinnest I've been maybe ever. I was fat. Slim Fast was the best thing that happened to me. I have lost over 50 pounds on the Slim Fast plan. I've kept it up for two years. Wow, I like that. <laughs> I take care of myself and I eat smart. I have a Slim Fast for lunch every day. That's the secret. 23 vitamins and minerals, protein, calcium, fiber, all the balanced nutrition like a healthy meal. I love it. And it really gives me a charge. Slim Fast every day. Balanced nutrition for a healthy life. I finally found the answer. When the Abbots cross the line. My husband could be dead because of what your brother has done. It's up to a Newman to settle the score. And I intend to fight them with everything in me. So watch Daddy's Little Darling in action. I'm going to cost Jack and Ashley a lot of pain. They're going to wish they never started this war. The Young and the Restless on CBS, the number one daytime network. If he's innocent of murder, why did he confess? 48 hours tonight. Muhammad Ali joins the angels in an hour of television so powerful. God bless you, baby. It will touch your heart. Don't miss a special all-new Angel CBS Sunday. Wow, a friendly face. I don't know what to say. That bad, huh? At least. Mm. Kind of figured something was up. Seems like you sort of jumped track a bit. Yeah, I like to run free, you know that. Yeah, exactly. So why is it that you're trying to hit yourself up to women that you don't love, Brad? Oh, so you heard that Carly and I set the date, right? Yep. And so soon after just proposing to just another woman in San Francisco. Yeah, well, like I said, out of control. Why is that? Does this have anything to do with that guy, Peter Wentworth? Has he tried to contact you again? No, but uh, obviously he hasn't left you alone, has he? Don't worry, I can handle it. You are afraid of this man. I can see that, and I have never seen you afraid of anything or anybody. Look, Peter just pushes my buttons, all right? Don't make more out of this than there is. I, I did some checking on him, and his bio is impeccable. It's just his associates that leave a lot to be desired. I told you to stay out of this. He's threatening you, isn't he? Come here, please. You gotta let this go. You digging into Wentworth's background, it's only gonna make things worse. I'm telling you, I can handle it, all right? But not if you get stuck in the middle. You gotta promise me you're gonna let it go. No. I promise. Can't. I know. I can't. Why not? Because I care too much, Brad. I need to know if you drank while you were pregnant. What, so you can preach me another sermon? Look, no, Denise, I'm not judging you. Look, I got this puzzle that I'm trying to put together, but I need a few more pieces. And so I'm one of them. I don't know. Look, this is about my baby, baby. Hey, Denise, just one step at a time, okay? Now, talk to me. Tell me. Tell me about what happened, how you felt. It was New York, okay? You know, all these folks running around like they somebody, and... Yeah, I was high on it. Because I wanted to be somebody, too. And for the first couple of days, I just walked right up to those stage doors and I made a big old noise because I knew that if somebody could just see me dance, I would be right in there. 42nd Street. Uh, that was my first job. Not the show, but uh, some bar up the street. But look, people still notice me. Right. So I was good. Right. I know all that time I was... I mean, months. I wasn't thinking about anything but just trying to stay alive, you know. And then this doc told me that I was... I didn't believe...
never leave him. Because, see, I had been alone for so long, and then all of a sudden I had company? Changed everything. And you weren't planning on being a mother. So, so you started wondering how you were going to handle it. Look, she was a part of me, Ben. Two in one. And that is a feeling that no man could ever possibly imagine. I took care of both of us. Good care, Ben. I believe you. And I would never do anything to hurt that baby. Nothing. Of course you wouldn't. But before you knew that there was a baby, did you drink? Sure, I did. So? I mean, in my world, everybody drank. If it's not James, then who the hell is it? That's a good question. Back at the grave, you said there was someone else who might know where David is buried. Who did you mean? You can discuss all that with your lawyer. Peterson? Georgia. Book these doing? two Grand Theft Auto. I'm gonna get in touch with their parents. Can't we discuss this? I swear, we were returning the car when we got the flat. Yeah, I'd like to believe you're Chris, but frankly, my faith's a little bit low. You hotwired a car that didn't belong to you, that's auto theft. Now, if Dr. Hamilton wants to drop the charges, that's up to him. Look, I understand you have to teach me a lesson. I can take it. But Georgia, she had nothing to do with it. She was a complete innocent. It was all my fault, sir. Georgia! What's going on here? Oh, my day could not get any worse. Your cousin and Chris Hughes here borrowed a car without the owner's permission. He's on his way down now. Where are your brains? You know better than that. Uh, don't blame her. I lied. I, I told her it was a friend of mine. It was an impulse. I swear, we were taking the car back. Yes, yes, we didn't want to harm anybody. I mean, honestly, we, we, could, we could even wash Dr. Hamilton's car for every day for like a wait, year or something. Doc, doctor... Hamilton. Reed Hamilton, psychologist at the yeah. hospital? Yes. Um, is there any way we can keep my parents out of this? You could still use the term fat chance. I'm dead meat. Let's go, guys. True confession time. Come on. <sighs> what are you thinking? Just a hunch, but I want to take a look at that car. Why? Because it's Hamilton's? <sighs> I saw him earlier tonight. After the bomb scare at the hospital, I went to question him. And you think that he has something to do with it? Uh, maybe. He was in the ER with some kind of asthma attack, and the call for the bomb that I came from an ER payphone. Jack, I know that you're upset because of the way he's treating Julia, but don't you think that's going on? Julia, I here? ran into him again at Oakdale Court. Now, he naturally, he, he denied it, being the caller, but... I don't know, he seemed really nervous and skittish. Why would you think that? Oh, maybe because of the run-in at my house. Anyway, I wanted to search his car then, but he wouldn't let me anywhere near it. Now I got another chance. Hal, uh, where's the, where's the stolen car outside? out in the lot. Why? Uh, just, I just want to give it a quick check. No, stay out of well, it. Come on, it'll only take a minute. I said no. Hamilton's the victim, not the criminal. Maybe. Still following up on that unofficial investigation in Canada, Jack? You know, I looked the other way on that, but Bob Hughes says you thought Hamilton was behind the bomb scare. I still think so. You got any proof? Not yet. Then stay out of it until you do, and say thank you. For what? Saving you from a harassment suit. Come on, hell, this isn't harassment. The car's in police custody. I just want to give it a quick check. I appreciate the concern. That won't be necessary. Go ahead. Fill him up until he bursts. You need Jet Dry. If you only use detergent, you're only doing half the job. Plus one Jet Dry bottle lasts 30 loads. Hey, hey, look at that, huh? No spots, no film. Jet Dry, your dishwasher was designed for it. Fisher Price Roller to Inline Skates go from four wheelers to inliners in a matter of seconds. Getting your kids to take them off, however, could take a little longer. <laughs> Fisher Price Roller to Inline Skates. It's a great age for Fisher Price. One more time, Dad. Presenting Cleaner Teeth. With Reach Ultra Clean, the toothbrush proven to deliver a superior clean. Its three unique sets of bristles clean all hard-to-reach places. Reach Ultra Clean. Don't just brush, reach. Okay, fellas, what are the three fundamentals of baseball? Be a team player. Yes. Keep your eye on the ball. Yes. Never play without a contract. Change is bad. The Hershey Bar, unchanged since 1899. All right. If you're looking for comfort, Jersey's has it. 
if you're looking for clothing that's easy to care for, Jerseys has that. And if you're looking for more styles and colors than you've got fingers and toes, well, we got that too. Can you believe it? That is what you want, isn't it? Jerseys. That's with a Z. It's allergy season again. So what do doctors prescribe for itchy, watery, allergy eyes like yours? Patinol. Patinol. More than any other prescription allergy eye drop? Patinol. Patinol works fast. In just minutes. And it lasts eight hours. <laughs> it really works. Some people may experience headache, burning, or stinging. Take your contacts out before use. Bye-bye, allergy eyes. Patinol. Works in minutes. Lasts eight hours. Stay tuned for more of As the World Turns. She was chosen to lead a nation to freedom. I would die if I could not serve others. But it was against the will of her father. What an idiot. Beyond making yourself into an idol. Lily Sobieski, Powers Booth. What do you want from me? I want forgiveness. Joan of Arc, a world premiere, CBS Sunday, May 16th. Tonight, three decades, one man, hypnotic, deadly. Does Manson's power still reach beyond the bars that hold him? Manson, 30 years later, special assignment, tonight at 11, only on CBS 2 News. When you need a new mattress, don't go to a high-priced department store. Go to Mattress Discounters. They always guarantee the lowest prices, and because all they sell are mattresses, they're the experts. Mattress Discounters is the largest Sealy retailer in the world with thousands of sets in stock, so you can even buy one today and sleep on it tonight. Mattress Discounters, the nation's largest mattress retailer. They put America to bed. Have a good night, sleep on us. Mattress Discounters. Yeah, I got a girlfriend, but around dinner time, my heart belongs to Marie. Introducing Marie Callender's complete skillet nails. Marie and I really stir it up. Marie makes it special. You cook it fresh in minutes. All you need is a skillet. The sights and smells of homemade. Do I have it good or what? Marie Callender's complete skillet nails. Fresh from your freezer. For me, there's only Marie. The woman who suits superstar Will Smith speaks out next Inside Edition. The address is CBS. Welcome home. I understand you gentlemen are just trying to uphold the law. But why don't we give these kids a break? They were having some fun, they made a dumb move, but it's not like they committed murder or something. Yes, it was dumb. It was dumb and it was wrong, we know that, but... I, I swear to you, I'm telling the truth. We just took your car for a spin, and we got a flat before we could return We're it. We're so totally sorry. You think you learned your lesson? Yes, absolutely. Chris, yes? Oh, yeah, never again. Why don't we let it go at that? Willing to drop the charges? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Dr. Hamilton. You, you, you rock. Oh, I'm that, that, that's her way of saying thank you very much. Sir. Uh, all right, don't push your luck. Okay? It will never happen again, I promise. Close call, my friends. You lucked out this time. Car's out in the lot. Give this to the guard, I'll show you where it is. Thank you. You clean up real good, Hamilton. Your point? Just an observation. About an hour ago, you looked like me. Well, I recommend taking a shower, Jack. They can be very therapeutic. Excuse me. Don't push it, Jack. You've got no case. Don't worry about me, hell. I'm fine. Yeah, right. Hey, I got one question. How'd you guys get so muddy, huh? Have a fight with a ditch or something? It's, it's cool. I'm just, just checking. We were looking for a spare in the trunk. The trunk was muddy? Yeah. Yeah, there was some big plastic bag back there, and it reeked of mud and stunk. It was really gross, really gross. How big a bag? Like a, a big leaf bag. It took up the whole trunk. It was very heavy, too. Um, yeah. Listen, uh, can we clean up somewhere? Yeah, uh, in back there. Smart. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Jack, you want to tell me where you're going with this? If someone stole your car, would you stop and take a shower before going after it? 
No, probably not. Unless you didn't want people wondering why you got so muddy. Then add our little car thieves in there, all muddy from Reed's trunk. Yeah, yeah, okay, I catch a drift, but, uh, you know, it's a long shot, Jack. Is it? Big bag, really gross, same mud from the grave, still fresh? He was there, old. I know he was there. Barbara, that's beautiful. <laughs> wow, yeah. That's dynamite. Honestly. It's sort of... What, Ozzy and Harriet, is it? Or, or maybe June Cleaver. I don't know. 50s weren't my decade. Nor mine. Carly, go home. I'll send your dress to you. Oh, I don't know, Lisa. I think I might... I think I might change my mind. I mean, look at this. This this is fabulous. Fabulous for duping yet another man. Well, yes. Speaking of dupes, how's your intended? Hey, cuz. Oh, Molly. What do you think? Is this it or is this it? Hmm? I thought she picked out your dress last week. She did. She's having a little difficulty making up her mind. But, you know, Carly, is it the dress you're unsure of, or is it the husband? Seriously, Molly? It's not too late to change my mind. I could even buy both. It is rather difficult, though, to tell when someone is being very sincere, especially where a lot of money is concerned. You know, this is ridiculous, Carly. Just pick one. Oh, good advice. Go for it. Go for life for as long as the money holds out. That is the tricky part, isn't it, though? Would you just shut your trap, since you don't know what you're talking about? I do know that you're a born taker. Well, I think this time, you might be the one taken. You are about as clueless as you are. Oh. Look what you've done. Sweetie, listen, Lisa can fix it. No. Fixing it just doesn't cut it. I want perfection, Molly, and I intend to get it. From now on, Carly Tenney does not settle for anything less than exactly what she wants. And she lived happily ever after. You haven't lost your touch, have you? <laughs> what do you mean? You always could just take my breath away. Oh, that, right. <laughs> yeah, that. You don't have to worry about me, okay? I can't help it. I, I just don't want to see you get hurt. I can take care of Peter. By anybody. Who would that be? No, I, I should just change this up. No, 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 no. You started this. Go ahead. Carly. Good for you. The lady's got guts. She's using you. <laughs> and, and you just seem to be able to go right along with this. I mean, what the hell? You're using her, too, right? And this, this might just be fun with all that money. What more could a guy want, right? You tell me. Is there more that a guy could want? You know there is. Yeah. You showed me some of that. Honesty. Respect. Love. You're the one who taught me how to play for keeps, Camille. Then you walked away. I had to do that. There was too much pain. Yeah, you got that right. Hey, so since that time, I've decided to live by the pleasure principle, you know? Hey, play hard, live high, have fun. And don't think too much and don't feel too deep. Bingo! Get that lady a teddy bear. Don't do that to me. I hate that. What do you want from Don't me? Don't marry Camille? Carly, please. When you run a bed and breakfast, you want it to smell as clean as it looks, right down to the quilts. That's where Febreze comes in. It cleans odors out of fabrics. See, folks come here with their hands full, and our job is to help them relax. So we use Febreze just about everywhere we clean, because it's safe on all kinds of fabrics, <laughs> no matter who checks in. And once it's dry, nothing's left but the smell of clean. Some folks ask if we use Febreze at home. This is our home. 
shave it off. Just... <laughs> okay. No, it's just this dandruff. Well, we can take care of that. Head and shoulders? Unlike regular shampoos, head and shoulders helps prevent flakes before they start. Glad I didn't do something stupid like shave my head. Head and shoulders. What is the best detergent for getting rid of bacteria in your laundry? New Tide with bleach. The only detergent that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Foundation that looks great and feels soft when you put it on is no surprise. But what if I told you I put my foundation on this morning? Introducing All Day Moisture Foundation from Oil of Olay. Tests prove its combination of base, long-lasting color, and moisturizers reveal that it continuously moisturizes, helping your skin look natural and feel soft all day. And the name? New All-Day Moisture Foundation from Oil of Olay. We can prove long-lasting color can care. Dr. Scholl's next stop, San Antonio Zoo. I want to talk to you about pain. My feet are shot. My knees are Lower back. Did you know back and knee pain can be caused by the way you walk? No. The way I walk? If your feet aren't hitting the ground evenly, that can throw everything out of alignment all the way up to your lower back. This is the Dr. Scholl's Dynastep insert. Very futuristic. It's U-shaped design. Cradles and supports your foot, so it hits the ground evenly. It feels real good on these big old feet. Like your foot's cupped in the shoe. I really think these would help my lower back pain. Would you like a Dynastep insert? <laughs> uh, no, don't eat it. No. Don't marry Carly. I said, please, pray, please. So give me a reason. I don't trust her. Neither do I. Give me a reason. You know what I mean. I shouldn't have come here. I have no reason and right to uh, get involved in your life. But. Good. You know, you, uh, you really had me going. I mean, all these soft little talking, uh, the warm, fuzzy feelings. I mean, you sucked me right back in, didn't you? What are you talking about? Please, Brad, don't marry Carly. I don't want to see anyone hurt you. I don't want to see anybody hurt well, you. What I don't get is why you're even looking at all. I mean, aren't you the one who told me to get out of your life? You remember that? Now you want to run mine? I, I don't know what is happening right here. What, what, what is happening? Maybe, maybe reality struck. Why don't you go home, Camille? Go play head games on some other poor slob. I got a fiance who's waiting for me. Yeah, yeah, you do. And you have a big extravagant wedding that you have to make. I wish you the best, Brad. Hey, Lisa. Hi there. Hey, gorgeous. Hello. How'd it go? Well, I made my decision, but you can't see it yet. No? No. You're gonna love it. <laughs> oh, that's a sure thing. I'm gonna love it because everything is gonna be just perfect this time around. You promise? I promise. Do you promise? I promise. Can I take you out Me? someplace? Yeah, preferably dark and romantic. Oh, I'd like that. Ouch! That's me you just zipped. Carly? We've been trying on dresses together. Oh, boy. Is this a dream of what? Oh, yeah. You see, this is a big mirror. Definitely a dream come true. <laughs> Carly, I told you that is Julia's dress. Now, you take it off this minute. But this is the one I want. Well, that's just a crying shame, isn't it? Because you can't have it. When I was five years old, there was this princess doll that I wanted so badly. I dreamed about her every night. I started writing letters to Santa in the, in the summer and fall. Wished on every star I could see. Christmas finally came, and under the tree there was this, this big old box, just the right size, and I ran to it, and I tore it open. It was a rag doll, string hair. I'm going to 
to be that princess doll, no one's gonna stop me. Whatever you say, your royal highness, but not decked out in Julia's dress. Sad, really. But I don't think Julia is going to be needing it. Hamilton was acting very, very weird. This is the kind of guy that doesn't blink, Holden. He was as nervous as a cat in a hot tin roof. Okay, Jack, so he's up to something, but he can't have been at the grave. Wait a minute. You think that he's the other person, don't you? He's the one. Okay, then how did he find out? Julia took him there. How did you know I drank when I was pregnant? I, I never told you anything about that. I didn't. But that explains the medical problems. Medical problems? And Andy, it's a match that can be used. But, excuse me, but, <laughs> hello, what are you talking about? I felt nauseated a lot of the time, yeah, but I just kind of figured it was nerves, and, I mean, you'd be sick, too, if you'd been up all night dancing. I, I'd have stale french fries for breakfast and a soda and chips for dinner. But I kept my eye on the prize, though. Waiting for some manager or agent to come through the door and just see me doing my thing, and then they just grab me right off the stage. Look, look, sooner or later, you had to realize that you were pregnant. No, it... I don't know, it, it never crossed my mind. It, Andy and I, we, we, we use protection. And there was nobody else. I don't know, when I, I figured it out, I... God, man, I totally freaked out, you know? I, I locked myself in my room all day and all night while I tried to figure out what I was gonna do. And then I had this dream. There was this kid, she was about... I don't know, she was three or four years old, and she was crying for her mama. And I was, I don't know, I was looking everywhere for her mama. And it hit me that it, that it was me. So then I woke up, I uh, pulled myself together, I started eating better, and not another sip of booze passed my lips, Ben. I believe you. But all those nights before you knew, I mean, even one or two nights of partying at the wrong time, it, it can affect your baby. Are you saying I hurt my baby? <laughs> but how can you know that? There's no way that you can do know that because we ain't got no idea where she is. And... Look at me, Ben. You know something, don't you? Damn it, Ben, if you know something about my baby, tell me. Now. To reduce your bill, call GEICO Direct. Unless you believe in the car insurance ferry. Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. At Geico, we settle claims quickly so you can get your car back. Because no one likes to bum a ride to work. <laughs> Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Once upon a starry night, I had a bulky diaper that didn't fit right. Just then, something new, like out of a dream. A new, better-fitting Huggy Supreme. A narrower middle, a new contour, form-fitting leg elastics, and what's more, a concentrated absorbent core. And a fit to stop leaks like never before. For flexibility, Huggies is virtually unmatched. And that's the truth. No strings attached. Tarantula eyes. The more you coat, the more it clumps. Cut the fuss, baby. Get Almay One Coat Mascara for double size lashes in one fast coat. And clumps? Forget about it. Double your lashes in one coat with Almay One Coat Mascara. Hot 
To it, full-figured gals. Get the biggest news in bras since the 40s. 18 Hours New Comfort Underband. Designed to stay put, stay comfy, no matter how you jump or jive. 18 Hours Comfort Underband. Is that a Playtex under there? Enough arthritis, pain, and inflammation. Enough morning stiffness. Enough. Enough of these aching joints. Had enough? Today, there are new treatment options to relieve your arthritis symptoms. Ask your doctor or pharmacist and call 1-800-ARTH-INFO for free information about new arthritis pain treatments. Because you've waited long enough. Hi, I'm Curtis. I love Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. I like to get here early, sometimes three, four hours early, way before the stores even open. Um, you know, to check up on Tony. Sure, everybody knows that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are great on the inside. But, uh, I see it as my job to make sure they're just as great on the outside. Look at that. It's perfect. It's perfection. They're great! I really don't like being spied on, Wentworth. Any smart businessman checks on his investments. Now, we had a deal. I'm not sure you're going to deliver on your end. You'll get your money when you get it. You mean when you marry it. Now, actually, it's those nuptials that concern me most. Progress seems to be all in the wrong direction. We're getting married next week. Be better. Or that lovely face of Camille's, it'll be just a memory. You touch her, you're dead. You just keep your end of the bargain. She'll be fine. That thing my dad says, uh, a miss is as good as a mile. No arrest, no record, no harm, no foul. We are out of here. We celebrate. No, Chris, not. Georgia, Georgia, are you telling me you didn't even feel a little bit of a thrill tonight? Are you completely insane? Rehabilitate me. I've been looking for the right woman. Thank you. No, I'll pass. Oh, break my heart. What are you doing? If we didn't get arrested, I want to collect on my bets. Julia knew what would happen if that secret got out. Well, Reed Hamilton's therapy knows no bounds. It doesn't compute. Even if he took her down there for some kind of therapy, why would he up and steal David's body? I got no idea, which is why I'm going to Oakdale Court right now and take a look in the car trunk. Jack, I'm coming with you. I'm sorry, hold on. I want to keep this personal. It's between Reed and me. If you know something about my baby, tell me. Tell me! All right. Wow. What? This, this, this is pure speculation, okay? But if I'm right, it's gonna affect a whole lot of lives, not just yours. It's... Whose lives are we talking about? Lily and Holden Snyder. I think they've been raising your baby. about jumping into a rugged new Montana. I need more room! Now's a really good time. Never seen a minivan do that before. Maybe it's not really a minivan. Life was more exciting in Montana. Now jump into a rugged Montana with this limited time offer, but get a move on because the train's leaving the station. Eleven blue plaid warriors stand on the brink of battle and ask themselves, where is the other team? Reuven, on a Sunday afternoon. 
Nothing helps you kick back at the end of the day like Tostitos chips and salsa. I can't imagine anything. We do suggest you actually wait till the end of the day. He's a fine dancer, too. Dig in, kick back with new Hint of Lime Tostitos. Every second, every minute, every hour. Your plants are nourished continuously. When you use Osmocote plant food, Osmocote has extended time-release granules. So just one application, once a season, is all it takes. Osmocote plant food. All your plants need, all season long. No two women are shaped exactly alike. That's why a woman gynecologist designed OB, the first tampon with individually wound layers that expand to fit each woman's individual shape. A tampon that was different from all the rest to give you truly personalized protection. The OB tampon, also available with an applicator. OB, protection, fit, for you. I should be on the life box. Oh yeah? Sure, I'm a kid, and I love life. Well, I love life, too. Sorry, Mom. Life tastes too good to ever put rollers on the box. Life, the good-for-you cereal kids think is just plain good. Try new Colgate Total Fresh Stripe. It fights cavities, tartar, plaque, gingivitis, and bad breath all day long with a minty swirl of gel. Your mouth will kiss you for it. New Colgate Total Fresh Stripe, the brushing that works between brushings. Noah Dearborn believes he's found the fountain of youth. My good fortune. He hasn't aged a day in over 50 years. The man's pushing 100, but the guy I talked to doesn't look a day over 55. He's totally uncontaminated by modern life. But the most amazing thing of all is, he may be telling the truth. Oh, my God. Oscar winners Sidney Poitier and Diane Wiest with Mary Louise Parker in a movie that is truly timeless. He's a miracle. The Simple Life of Noah Dearborn, Mother's Day, CBS Sunday. Tonight on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather, a man was stopped by police in his own hometown. Was it because of his color? The story later. I'm a lab technician. I've been with Western Dental for two years. I love my job, and I like working with the patients. I've been doing lab work for five years. I do feel proud to work for Western Dental. For more information, call 1-800-6-DENTAL. Here. Hi. 